as other southern governors sign anti-open grazing bill, will Obaseki end up being the only southern governor that will not sign the bill? It's quite unfortunate because the people of Edo State deserves more. Um, in signing of this bill, I don't know because Obaseki is already winding up. Whether you like it or not, you may say he has uh, barely spent one year into his second tenure. What you don't know with time is that before you say Jack Robinson, three years is gone. It goes so quickly before you can imagine a child that was born yesterday is already in nursery school. If you travel and return before you hear, they tell you, well, he's already going to secondary school. If you are not careful and you're not making progress with your life, the mother will call you very soon and say, oh, she's getting married. And you'll be wondering, where did the time go? It's as quick as that. Governor Gordon Obaseki has been in all the Southern governors' meeting. And if, for instance, he has any objection, he should have been one of the people to speak up and for them to deliberate and see way forward. Obaseki had to go and visit Buhari for him to know if he should implement the grazing bill. He returned and told the people of Edo State that, well, he met Buhari and um, he told them what the people of Edo State wants. Still, he has not signed the bill. The people of Edo State deserves better because they've had their fair share of the Fulani's atrocities. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Will Obaseki end up as the only Southern governor that won't sign the anti-open grazing bill? For some months now, many governors in the Southern Nigeria have been signing the anti-open grazing bill into law in their respective states. Despite being also plunged by the menarch of the Fulani headsmen, Edo State is yet to consider the bill to ban open grazing, talk less of signing it into law. Obaseki has not given the House of Assembly the go-ahead to look into what should be done. You will recall that governors of the southern Nigerian state had met to reach the agreement that states in the southern Nigeria will no longer accommodate activities of open grazing. Consequently, many state governors in the southern Nigeria signed the bill. But Governor Gordon Obaseki is yet to sign this bill into law. Last week, the governor had a meeting with President Muhammad Buhari in Aso Rock Villa. After the meeting, the governor told newsmen that he had come to sort for funds from the president to establish ranches in his state. And then, in case another year, and I wait on a governor day after that 6.3, 6.5 billion that uh, you know Buhari gave to Castina, and they made an announcement that any state governor that would like to con um, implement ranching in their state should. Uh, signify interest. That's Obaseki's. It just feels very slimy, you know. It feels like, you know, when you have a leech among you guys and you just have that person whom after you've taken a decision, we go back to the person and start doing as if he's the good one. That's the way it feels. Unlike Obaseki, the other governors of the southern state did not seek approval of this phone before signing the bill to ban open grazing in their state. As days turn into weeks, the menarch of Edsmen are still in their business of unleashing violence and the innocent people of Edo State who can hardly go to their farm without Edsmen disturbing them. This leaves one to begin to wonder whether Obaseki will be the only Southern governor not to sign the bill and to ban the evil activities of the Edsmen in Edo State. So, this tells you something, that Obaseki does not have the same mind as other governors. You may not like it, but Obaseki is not on this, is not in the same page with the rest of the people. You may not like what we're saying, but it's the truth. Other governors have signed it, but Obaseki had to go see Buhari first. Maybe as his tenor is winding up, he's considering senatorial position, and um, he had to, you know, secure that. Maybe. You know, power is intoxicating. Power is sweet. When you get there, no, you don't want to leave it. That's why you'll be surprised what people can do or the lengths people can go 
for power. It, it, it's it's when you hear it, it's mind boggling, and you'll be like, like seriously, this person? Oh yes, you don't know the capacity of a person until something really hits you, until something really happens. You may never know what he or she can do. Governor Gordon Obaseki, by behaving like behaving as like a snitch, is betraying the other governors who they all agreed. Gradually, they began to sign it. When he saw that it's becoming a Leo Ranger, he made a statement saying, eh, how is he going to implement it even if he signs it? You sign the law, first of all. Sign it into law, then get vigilantes in your state to implement it. As simple as simple can be described. But guess what? When you have another mindset, you make every silly excuse in the world. You tell everybody why it must not happen. You have all the excuses. No matter what somebody else is saying, it does not bother you much because your mind is made up. Because you have all the ideas. You have all the things topmost in your heart. It ought not to be so. Trust me, it ought not to be so. If we say we are all going right, it's unfair when we see some going left, it makes the whole, the whole reason why unity was called the watchword defeated. Obaseki may be still in APC, in spirit, just PDP and body. But even if we want to say party, the governor who is championing the course of all this, Governor Luru Timi Akere Dolo, is a very, very, AP you are not more APC than him. You are not more APC than the governor. So what are we really talking about here? It's a wake-up call. You see, it's quite unfortunate because, I mean, if a do state is one of those states that has never had any issues or incidents and everybody's saying, I mean, there's no need for that. I mean, we understand. So there are some people, there are some of those your friends, you know. One that don't decide something finished, they could go back, go do another thing. Go make the person say, I, I know deal, I was not deal. That's the way it feels. Like, seriously, that's just the feeling. And it's quite sad, you see, uh, because you're not expecting this from, you know, this kind of people. Anyway, my people, now so they matter, they reach us. So, Obaseki, I go come become the only, I go come become the black sheep. Leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.